A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. A Gantt chart allows you to effectively plan your complex projects. It enables you to plan all of your tasks in one place and helps you work out the minimum delivery time for your project and schedule when the right people are available to complete it. Gantt chart starts by listing all the tasks you need to complete to finish your project. You also need to specify the earliest date you can start each activity, how long you think each will take and whether any of them are dependent on the completion of other activities. Let's create this Gantt chart. To understand this chart functionality, first you need to create a table and populate it with relevant data. Link of source code is provided in description of this video, by opening part 8 folder you will get the material used. To run this query, click this run button. This query will create a table named project table in our workspace schema. Access the data load and unload page. Click this load data button. Click choose file. Open part 8 folder. Then click this project table CSV file to open it. Click the existing table option. Select the project table. Then click the load data button. If everything goes well, the next screen appears with the message data in table project table appended with 73 new rows. Click this view table button at the bottom to complete the process. This is the table we have created, these are all the columns in this table. Click this data tab to view the existing data in this table. Now let's create a page for Gantt chart. Open Sales Web Application. Click the Chart option. Then select Gantt option. Choose SQL Query for source type. Then enter this query in the SQL Query box. Remaining properties will remain the same. Click Next. This first option select the column name to be used for defining the start date of the Gantt chart. This one select the column name to be used for defining the end date. This option select the column name to be used for defining the task ID on the Gantt chart. Task name for defining the task name on the Gantt chart. This one select the column name for defining the task start date on the Gantt chart. This last option select the column name to be used for defining the task end date on the Gantt chart. After creating the page, click this series 1 node. Then set progress, under column mapping, to status. The status column defines the task progress on the Gantt chart. Save your progress by clicking this save page button. That's it, let's test our work. 
run the application. Open this reports page. Click this Gantt chart card. To enable these zoom buttons, on your keyboard press and hold the control key, then move the mouse wheel upward. Keep clicking the zoom out icon, unless it is grayed out. Same day tasks are shown in diamond shapes. Completed tasks are represented in dark blue color, while remaining tasks are displayed in light blue colors. Hovering the mouse pointer over a bar shows details of that particular task. This Gantt chart displays the overall progress of a project. Thanks for watching.